The ridiculously early Christmas ads are here again. Cynical capitalist. Have you seen the John Lewis advert? Moz the monster living under a bed. Wow. Seven million quids worth of production. Where did the money go? Is it because the monster is CGI? Here's a tip. Hire an outfit. Do you know how many desperate bellends there are in Fringe Theatre in London? Get one of those. My name is uh, Stephen Lacroix. I'm a serious actor. Last year I was Laertes in the King's Head Croydon's production of Hamlet. Yeah? Well this year, Stephen, you're gonna dress as a bear and flog glassware. Seven million quid when you could have just got a fat wanker in a bear costume and pushed him under a child's bed. And while we're at it, if, heaven forbid, any children are watching this, never ever, ever behave like the John Lewis advert. <laughs> My name's Moz the Monster. Now don't tell anyone, because I'm going to be living under your bed. <sighs> if you find a very large man in a novelty outfit living under your bed at home, here's the advice. Go to a teacher, go to a parent. Initially, just fucking scream, because I guarantee you there is a sex offender under your bed. Well done, John Lewis. The spirit of Christmas is a metaphor for a friendly pedo who earns our trust, moves in under our bed, and no one suspects a thing. Just the kind of thing we're looking for in the current environment, isn't it? There are only two other early Christmas adverts that have caught my attention. Paddington, who stops a northern burglar. Right, I'm gonna have all these fucking presents out this house. I don't think so. I'm a friendly bear called Paddington. How about you turn yourself round morally and deliver the gifts instead? Yeah, that had happened. The only accurate part of that advert is where the burglar tells Paddington, fuck you, you little fucking bear. Do you know what happened in the deleted scene? He actually shanked him. Do you think so, Paddington? Shall we give the gifts back? Fuck you, you furry little c- I'm gonna sell everything on eBay, Get the kids I only visit at the weekend, summit decent, and blow the rest on top quality fucking flake. I always go out on Boxing Day and dance till 6 a.m. with prozers. Merry Christmas. But my personal favorite has to be the Aldi carrot. Just how many psychedelic mushrooms had the creative director of that agency eaten before he came out with this suggestion? Guys, I've got an idea. How about Jim Broadbent brings a carrot to life and it travels the planet? Fucking hell, Gary. That's brilliant. I just feel sorry for all the vegans watching that advert. Do you know how insensitive that is? That's the one thing they can eat and you've given it an animal voice and soul. Not cool, bro. Not cool. Do you know how hard it is being vegan? I use up all my energy every day announcing that I'm vegan. I'm vegan! And now I've got to think of a carrot with a face. Please don't make me eat the LSD carrot. Please. Ah! It's Moz! It's Moz the monster! Come here!